Welcome back, boys and girls. I'm so happy to see you today. Today I'm going to be reading a science story. It's called Change It, and it's a story about solids, liquids, gases, and you. But before we start, I'm going to go with my head with my riddle, and it kind of has something to do with our topic today. What did the judge say when the skunk walked into the court? Think about it. Today's book is Change It, and it's written by Adrian Mason, illustrated by Claudia de Villa. Change It. Matter around you. Matter is all around you. You are matter. A toy boat is matter, and water is matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. Matter can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. I like the way the fish says, these bubbles are matter. They're filled with gas. What is a solid? Solids have their own shape. Rocks are solids. Hats and skipping ropes are solids too. Solids don't change shape easily. You can stretch a skipping rope, but when you let it go, it takes its own shape again. Can you find three more solid objects in this picture? <clears throat> what about, there's a rock. A swing set is a solid, a tree is a solid, buildings, toys, there's more than three. And the bunny says, some solids change shape when you push or pull on them. Can you think of a solid like that? I have a glass in front of me. It's a solid. It doesn't change shape. Unless I were to break it, then it would change shape. But it would still be solid. What's a liquid? A liquid shape has no shape of its own. Liquids change shape easily. Liquids also flow. When you pour a liquid into a container, it takes the shape of the container, a glass, a bottle, or a bucket. How many liquids can you find in this picture? How many liquids do you see? See rain, paint, cow drinking water, water coming out of a fountain, soda, a lot. I wonder how many you can find. I also have a liquid in this bottle, sparkling water. I'm going to open it in just a minute. But you notice it takes the shape of the bottle. If I were to pour it all out, it would have no shape. It would go everywhere. What's a gas? Gas is all around you, even if you can't see it. The air you breathe in and blow out is a gas. A gas has no shape of its own. Gas is spread out to fill the container. A bubble, a bicycle, a tire, or even in a room. On a windy day, the air moves very fast. Picture of some gases. Now the reason I chose this particular type of liquid is it's a sparkling water. So what makes it sparkling is it has some gas in it. So let's listen when I open it. Did you hear the little psh? And then if I pour it in, let's see what happens when I pour it in. We'll see the bubbles. And the gas is there. Can you hear the gas escaping? Take a sip. <clears throat> Yummy water. freezing and melting. Solids can change into liquids when they warm up. When a solid snowflake lands on your warm tongue, it melts and changes into liquid water. Liquids can change into solids when they cool down. Because it's cold out, the water in this pond has frozen into ice. The squirrel says the solid marshmallows in the hot liquid have turned into a liquid too. Wonderful water. After it rains, there are puddles, but puddles soon dry up. The warmth of the sun makes liquid water change it into a gas. A gas call is called water vapor. Water can be a liquid, a solid, or a gas. Can you find all three in this picture? Let's see, are there some ice cubes where it's a solid, some steam or water vapor, and the puddle, which is liquid, all three. Clouds are also water vapor too. 
mixing matter. You can combine solids and liquids to make something new. When you bake a cake, you mix together eggs and milk, liquids with flour, sugar, and butter, solids. When you put the mixture into a hot oven, gas bubbles form. The gas makes the batter rise so you get a fluffy cake. The puppy says, the tiny holes in this cake are made by bubbles of gas. Yummy. Matter can be anything that takes up space. Matter can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Solids don't change shape easily. They have to be pushed, pulled, heated, or cooled. Liquids can flow. They can take the shape of the container they are in. Gases have no shape. They spread out to fill the space they are in. All three stages of matter. And that's the end of this book. Now today we're gonna to have some fun because it's our last read aloud before spring break. And we're gonna make something you can use over spring break. Are you ready to go into the kitchen and help me do a science experiment? Welcome back boys and girls. You ready for our science experiment? Thought today it might be fun for us to make some sidewalk chalk. This is one I made yesterday. Now it's going to take a solid and a liquid, combine the two together to make a new liquid, put it in a shape, and it will come out as a new solid. Now this one I made yesterday, and I put it in an Easter egg, plastic Easter egg, because I had some laying around. But the trouble was getting it out. I ended up having to cut it. So if you don't want to ruin what you're going to put it in, choose something else. For today's experiment, you're going to need some plaster of Paris, which you can get at any home improvement store, some water from the tap, food dye, a bowl to mix it in, a spoon, and something to put your new liquid in that will turn to solid. Either a toilet paper roll, which I also did yesterday, kind of lost its shape, but it still worked, or a Dixie cup would probably be best whatever you have laying around the house. It's also a good idea to wear something over because this can get kind of messy and have an adult help you with this one. Now the first step is you're going to need to pour some of the plaster of Paris into the bowl. I'm gonna put about enough to fill up a Dixie cup. Then I'm, I want, this time I want my sidewalk chalk to be blue. I already have yellow and green, so I'm going to make a blue one. So I'm going to put some blue food dye into the water. The stronger the color, the more food dye you'll want. This looks kind of dark, but you'll be surprised what it looks like once you mix it with the plaster of Paris. Mix it up with my spoon. Don't pour all of it in, just pour some of it in. Start mixing. This is almost the consistency I wanted it. I wanted mine a little darker, so I added some more food dye in. The consistency should be like that of a cake mix or a brownie mix. Still a liquid, but pretty thick. That looks perfect. Now I'm going to take the plaster of Paris mix with water and put it into a cup. Have to use a spoon to help it. That looks about perfect. It's filled up about three quarters of the way. I'm gonna let it sit there and dry, and I'm gonna make a different color. Okay, boys and girls, this time I mixed up another color, kind of a pinkish, orangish. I used red food dye, and this is the color it turned into. Now, if you don't have any cups, just use an old toilet paper roll, but it's important to put something underneath it so the liquid can't get out the bottom. I'm just going to put some foil in the bottom while I put it, fill it up. It kind of looks like soft serve ice cream. Right now it's in its liquid form because it's going to take the shape of this toilet paper roll. I kind of have to shake it down to make sure there's no bubbles in the middle. We don't want sidewalk chalk with bubbles in the middle because then it would get broken really easily. If it gets on your fingers, be sure to wash your hands really quickly. You don't want it drying on you or your clothes. Okay, this is about full. I'm gonna shake it down a little bit. 
Then I'm gonna put it down and let it dry. Okay, got a little on the side here. Now, another important thing to take the bowl and spoon and put it in water right after you're finished with it so it won't stick to it. I'm gonna do that right. Boys and girls, here's one I made yesterday. Now I'm gonna try to peel off the toilet paper roll. It's not that easy, but I know it'll still work. Maybe I'll start from the top. Whatever you need to do. You notice a lot of the color went to the toilet paper roll. I'll be right back as soon as it's all I'm finished peeling it off. Well, boys and girls, I'm out here in my front yard on my driveway, and it looks like it worked. I wrote you a little message. You are amazing. Well, boys and girls, that was a fun experiment. I'm glad it worked. I learned a few things. More food dye makes better color. This one turned out, it was supposed to be green. Most of the food dye went to the paper. So if you do use a toilet paper roll, put something like plastic or foil inside of it so it won't, the cardboard won't absorb all the color. Your Dixie cups should work just fine because they're kind of plastic coated. I'm so glad I was able to rechange it. And the riddle. What did the judge say when the skunk walked into the courtroom? Odor in the court. Get it? Skunk. The gas coming from him was an odor. <laughs> so silly. Well, I hope you have an amazing spring break. I look forward to reading to you more, doing some more fun experiments. That's what I'm going to do over my break is look for some more good books to read and some more fun experiments to experience with you. I love you and miss you all. Bye-bye.